welcome to another art lesson in the Paint with Heart Studios. I'm Cindy Harrison, your artist in residence and host of Paint with Heart. I would love to introduce you to my friend Melissa, my bestie, my bestie friend Melissa. Hi, <laughs> Hi everybody. I'm Melissa Reyes, Ms. Meliz, and I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Cindy. So today we are going to be talking about the tree of life and how we're all connected and rooted into the same earth and we are all part of a family. So whether or not you are going to be highlighting your biological family, your family of friends, or maybe it's your favorite cats or your favorite um, TV characters, <laughs> we have a really special uh, project for you. So I'm glad you're here and celebrating life today. Thank you. This is not my toucan, don't look at him. But this is my tree. <laughs> this is my tree of life. And basically what I did was I cut my canvas in half so that I only had to paint half up front. And then I'm gonna do this other half with the rest of you today. So um I took my canvas and I primed it with a coat of baby pink and snow white. Those were the two colors I used. And I wasn't, you know, careful. As you see all the streaks, you don't have to be that careful on your um, coverage. Just get the paint on and then you can, you know, let it, let it rest, let it dry overnight. What I did was I put tape down on the edge so that I didn't get paint over the tree that I had just painted. Get your rubbing alcohol ready and take out, what I'm gonna do is put, I put white over it. So that's what I'm gonna do here is put white over it. But you could put a different color. You can put a darker pink or the solid pink. What you wanna do is add some contrast. So if pink's not your color, it's my color, it's gonna go in my room, so I wanted the pink background. But if you want a blue, use two shades of blue or mix the bottom coat or one of the coats with some white to make it a different you know, value blue. You want two shades so one shows up when you take it away from the other. So I'm gonna take some white Make sure that masking tape is down so it doesn't seep under the edge. And we're going to take, I'm gonna take my big brush. Let me see, my big, my big brush because I'm gonna go over a large area. And take most of the water out. Pick up the white and start base coating over this area. Again, I'm not being too particular. I, it's streaky, it's not solid. I'm not looking for a solid cover, I'm just looking for some coverage. Over that area. Cindy? Yes. Are we only supposed to be doing half? No, you do the whole thing. All right. <laughs> I did half because I didn't want to do a tree. All right. twice. I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to Pour a little bit out. Uh, for some reason, I still have Snow White base coat. For That's you. okay. But so now, now you moved on to adding the. This is a rubbing alcohol, and I'm just putting it, popping it with my pipette, and letting it drop onto the um, canvas. And if you look at an angle, you can see. Woo, you can see that it's. You can't see it really, but it is puddling up 
if you do that, do you see how there's like little puddles, little circles of color? Well, lack thereof color. I'm gonna let that set up for a second. If you wanna take your um, <clears throat> fan brush and drop some smaller puddles that way, you can. And then, wait a few more seconds and it starts to bead away you start getting those rings of color hard again i know i need to use some colors that are not white on this. if you can hold that closer to the camera do you see how it's starting to bead up those circles yes so i'm going to now take my paper towel and place it over my canvas and just pat it down. And then watch what happens when I lift it. Can you see them? Just kind of also the paper towel gives it um, another texture. So if you want more, you can go a little bit more. And the rubbing alcohol is a, one of those good things too if you make any mistakes and you want to get rid of your mistakes. And this is where you have, if you have um, a darker background, it'll show up even stronger. There you have it. Obviously you see, I can never do the same thing the same way twice. So you'd want to do your whole canvas at the same time. <laughs> There's my background with the rubbing, with the rubbing alcohol. Um, let me see. If I I have another project over here that has some of it on it that might be able to see better. That's done with the rubbing alcohol. All that. I had a very bright background very bright green and then i put these dark green colors over it and then i spattered it with the rubbing alcohol and that's how i came up with that look so that shows you a better idea of what it could look like and the paper towel texture just adds little nuances now you're going to take your line drawing And you're going to trace on your tree trunk, but not your leaves. I didn't give you any leaves. Just trace on your tree trunk. We're talking about. I also uh, have a new company that we're um, getting ready to get launched, and it's Bubbler Media. So that's where we're we've been talking about the last few weeks with. Um, so we're we're very excited about it. <laughs> Know what else to say but it's a dream come true and we're gonna be able to make a lot of people um, very happy it's very exciting a lot of dreams are gonna come true so it's gonna be awesome so it's all happening launching in September if everyone's got their tree on we're going to base coat it with mink tan and for that I'm going to use just a flat brush nothing special so yeah paint with heart is going to still be here we're not moving paint with heart from sunday at three o'clock on zoom but instead of going live with this show on to bubble media we're going to do a replay of the show um i think it'll be easier but we'll be, you'll be able to see it on facebook but we have some live shows too 
Yes. We have um, Create This, which is Friday nights on Bubbler at 9.30 Eastern. And that opens Melissa and myself up to doing all things creative, not just paint related. So that's going to be wonderful. So that'll be fun. So but, branching out, like if this isn't enough, we have more things we're going to be doing. But let's stick to painting today. What's the next step here, Cindy? I am going to base coat all of my tree with this flat brush. And when I get up to the top part, I'll probably move over to a round. Make sure, obviously, that your painting underneath and alcohol is dried off. And yet yeah, back to the boring part. When I go off to the edges, I use the chisel edge of my brush rather than the flat. So I start out even here on an angle, but when I come out here, I go to the chisel edge and bring that out. And if it doesn't move, pick up more paint or pick up water. So if you want a thick branch, you use the flat edge. And when you get out toward the ends, you start twisting your brush to the chisel. You don't have to be smooth. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? A little moisture. <sighs> uh -oh. I love your tree. It's beautiful. Reminds me of last year when I did that retreat, I had to make about 80 trees. Remember that? Oh dear, yeah. Okay, now that I have that on, I'm going to hit it with the blow dryer for a quick second so that we can then add some shading before we move on to our leaves. Now, the thinner the coat, the faster it dries. For shading, I'm going to put on burnt umber. And I'm not going to be picky when, you know, like mm. I say side loads and everyone quivers. I'm not going to be picky about that. I will say that I probably load my brush. I'm going to go to a three quarter inch flat. And I, I will load my brush with this um, corner load, but it's not going to be crazy with the application. So although I load it only on one part of my brush here, I can come down against that edge and then start to just bring it up. And we can chop it in if you have um, the chisel edge of your brush done. See, it's not really a uh, um, pull out side load. It's just chopped in to make it look woodsy. Like woodsy owl? Yeah, yeah. Did you yes. see woodsy owl? I did. I met woodsy owl. Okay, hold on. I have burnt umber on my screen. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to take that over here, just bring it across the bottom, chop, 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 take that over here. I'm at a little disadvantage because I can't see where my brush is going, but go to the, I'm going to go to the bottom of each branch if I can, chopping it in if it's a little thicker. And if it goes over and you want to take a finer line, you can. So leaf strokes, strokes will create a nice woodsy, woodsy effect. You need to wash your brush, brush out in between. OK, 
If you get the paint over an area you don't want, take your Q-tip or your clean, clean brush and just wash it back off. Sometimes this won't show, but just in case it does and you don't want it there, get it off now while it's wet. And on this little area, I'm gonna go and take my round brush and load it with some burnt umber and then just bring it in there and up there on the narrow parts. Works good on the narrow parts. Okay, so there's our tree. You're going to want to blow dry that. If you want more lines here, just chop some in. And if you over blend them, wipe them out with a damp, wipe out a line of color with your damp brush. That's all. Piece of cake. We're gonna blow dry that. Next thing we're gonna do is use our compressed sponge. <clears throat> Erase my graphite lines. Any graphite lines that you are not painting oh, next, sponges. next to or over or whatever, erase them. Okay, so this is our compressed sponge. It's a piece I've already used and cut off. And what I did was traced a design on here. So you can trace a leaf. It can be a pointy leaf, or it can be a round leaf. It can be a fat leaf, it can be a narrow leaf. You can do leaves like this. After you trace your leaves on, you cut them out. And when you cut them out, I can show you this one. I'll make another leaf. I sent you one of these, right, Melissa? You did, and it was really awesome because we used that on the glasses that we painted. Yes. And so we can use the same, and it, it conformed to the edge of the glass. So after you've done this, you stick it in your water and rinse it out, and you've got the sponge. Isn't that cool? Mm. Now you're going to go over and pull out three greens. And I'm gonna use Hauser Light, Hauser Medium, and Plantation Pine. So you wanna put a puddle of each of those out onto your canvas, probably the size of your thumbnail. Okay, so I have my sponge. And now what I'm gonna do is take some of the paint and add different colors to different areas. So if I want the light out here, wipe my brush off, add the medium in the middle, wipe my brush off and then add the dark on the bottom, turn it over and press. Lift and I have a leaf. Now it's not gonna be 100% filled in, that's okay. We don't want it that way yet. And do that all the way around. Add your lights, add your mediums, add your darks. Always add your lights first. And then Now 
This is when you have three different sizes or a couple different shapes that you can um, vary the shapes and the sizes as you go around your tree. I just think it's neat. I mean, if you want to do two and one, you know, two times with one load, you can see how many loads you can get out of it, I expect here. Probably want to overlap them a little bit. Again, it's not critical because the next step will fix all that. And sometimes your um, leaves can overlap too. Cindy, I think that Woodsy Owl and Smokey the Bear will really love that tree. <laughs> you think? I do. Here. And Doogie the Squirrel. Here they are. There they are. Look at that. With us in the forest for Earth Day. So I just thought that they would like being in here with the Tree of Life. We should do it with the owl. Tree of Life, yes. And we could always just go ahead and put... Some of that color down here. Oh, look at that. For grass. Move, your, move it up a little bit so you can see it in the screen. There you go. Right, so it's a little grassy. Yeah, it's a very whimsical um, scene with that pink bubbly background. Pink bubbly, I know, because you know me, I'm just a pink bubbly person. You are a pink bubbly person, oh, but I like it. You like to make different textured backgrounds and stuff to show, you know, different ways of doing things, and so it's fun. So if you want some dark on the bottom, just add, I would turn it upside down, add some of the dark down here. Just to give it some ground cover. Nice sunny day, warm and lovely. Okay. Then you put your sponge in the water to rinse off. Now, we have a bunch of holy leaves, right? What are we going to do? <laughs> You can do two things. Either use your glazing medium mixed with the paint or you use your um, water. On my flat, I'm gonna pick up some glazing medium and I'm gonna go into one of my greens. I'm going to go into the light Hauser green and I'm going to glaze over, make sure they're dry, glaze over some of these leaves. I don't want to cut back on seeing the texture. I just want more of the color. So this one I'll glaze with a Hauser medium. I just want to see the uh, some color where there isn't any green. So if you don't like the fact that the Hauser medium creates too much of a um, go over the plantation pine. Just add some plantation pine in there. Pick up some medium, pick up some color, and then glaze over it. You just want to glaze over the highlights with the highlight color and over the dark with the dark color. Go right for it. See, that's too much paint. I need more glazing medium. 
See what happens when I add the glazing medium? Tone just thins out that the color. We're not changing the color. We're just changing its transparency with the glazing medium. And if you do different glazes, it'll be a little bit more interesting than doing one glaze over the whole thing. So that being said, you got all your leaves on there. Now what? Right? Now what? I'm going to have to make a tile that says, now what? You go to somebody who can make you photocopies of your family members. Yeah, we're not going to make you draw them. <laughs> Although I know some people who could do that. <laughs> and I actually have um, photo paper. So my husband printed out a bunch of copies of this. Of, we had a family um, outing. I think this was for Mother's Day. Perfect. <laughs> Either Mother's Day or Shauna's birthday in June. But I had my mom with me and my three kids. You've got to find a pic pictures that um, fit into your frames. So I need to do myself and my husband and I'm going to add my mom. So I have these little framelits that I got from um, Tim Holtz and I have them for sale if you need some. Oh, I love how they're packaged with the little bubbles. The little bubbles. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And then, did you send me the brads too? I think I did. Did I not? No, you probably did. Of course you did. They're so good. That mutt, box of the mutts, you're really going to be working on, especially with Bubbler getting that, that monthly thing and the Patreon and everything. Mm. You're on fire, lady. Get all the stuff together and get it out ahead of time. With that, in this kit, you have the backing. This backing, it has a template in it. Okay, so what I did was I cut that template out and made a hole. Now I go over to my picture and I decide if that's the right size I want for my charm. And then I put this back on top of it and then lift this off. Then I can take a pencil and sometimes it'll take and sometimes it'll just make an indentation so if you have a marker that can write on gloss glossy like a cd marker then you'll have the otherwise i just have an indentation Not all charms are going to have these bubble, have these bubble things. So you're going to have to look at what you're purchasing. And I'm going to go in and cut my husband's face out. <laughs> Careful, you say that. I know. Or Bill. Or Lucky Bill, if he's being highlighted in your pictures. <clears throat> and stay as close to that outline as possible. Looks like I'm beyond it. So I'm going to see if it fits in here. 
if I have to do any trimming, and lo and behold, I do over here I do some trimming. Just a little. When you get it to where it fits nicely in there, because these bubbles sit on top, you're going to glue your picture to the bubble because the bubble's adhesive, but it's not going to stick inside the metal. It won't stay there. You need to use something to stick it to the metal. Of course, I say it won't stay there. Now it's staying there. <laughs> there we go. And if I put the bubble in, it would take it out. That's what happened to me last time. So I have this product called DecoArt Media Glass, Liquid Glass. There's also, um, what did I send you? The Glossy Accents. There's also a Glossy Accents and, but I'm just gonna go in and stick some of this. In I have Glossy Accents. Yeah, put some of that in here, but don't put too much because it'll bead out beyond it. So I'm gonna use a Q-tip and stick some of that in there. I don't need to squeeze a lot out. And then put my husband's picture back in it. And push that down. Make sure all the bubbles are out if you can. And then take one of these off of here. And you can even cut that if you want. Not cutting yourself. Turn that over. And stick it on the face. Push it down. Smooth it out. And lift it off. There we go. So there's that one. Do the same for all the others. That's see, that's why I get different sizes because you're taking you're all on different planes when you're when you're standing here. You have some people up front closer to the camera, some people further away behind the camera. So their faces are gonna be different sizes. So not one photo fits all, if you know what I mean. Okay, so that's done. I'll put some of that in there. There's my Q-tip. I'll just keep it in there. Press down. It might come out over the edge. If you want to get rid of that with a Q-tip, you can. You want to not put your fingerprints on the on a ticky ticky tacky pack, you know, because then you'll leave your fingerprints there forever. So smooth that out, and I lifted this one. I lifted the picture right out of it when I pulled off this cover. So you got to keep holding it down, otherwise you pull the picture right back out again. Okay, now. That is my family tree. I need to now figure out a way of connecting it to the tree part, right? <clears throat> well, you know, that's the part, that's the magic part. I can't wait to see without gluing it, right? <laughs> without gluing it, yeah, because I don't know. Maybe you want to take them off there. Once it's glued in, it's glued in. Yeah, you might have to change someone out, right? <laughs> you never know. You just never know. 
and you may. Okay, so I have in here brads. And I used the brads that matched the metal. Because I have tons of brads. Do you have any Janets? No, no Janets. Damn it. <laughs> I know you know that. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Well, Cindy, you're my best friend. You're my best friend. Hmm. Rocky Horror Picture Show, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> reference to Brad and Janet. I had no idea if she would know what I was talking about, but she did. Honestly? I didn't know. We've never talked about Rocky Horror Picture Show. Once. Really? We have never talked about that. We went through a, a Halloween and we didn't talk about it? Yeah, I don't think so, and I have a pretty good memory. So this one here has a narrow, narrow brad, and this one's got a longer one. So I'm going to go with a longer one because I have to get through the charm and through the canvas. Okay, so now I'm going to um, place them. Where do I place them? So I'm going to kind of put them on where I think I want them. So here we have i'm going to just go with that and then leave room for when she gets married because i'm not going to add him until they're married that's kind of the way i roll and if he gets married then he'll have a wife and if she gets married then she'll have a husband oh no, that's smart okay there you go you won't have to make a new tree exacto knife don't hurt yourself but you put a hole where just a little bit Wiggle it just a little bit and don't cut yourself. Yeah, and you're going to want to make sure that you're not on the wood. The wood frame back there because that really makes it difficult to put a brad through it. So then you squeeze the brad through here. And you put the bread in there. And then on the other side, we're going to flip it over and flatten that bread. You need to put it under the, that's why I said, be careful. It's, you're not poking a hole under there because it will, make it harder for you. You don't want it any harder than it is. I'm going to do mine. I think that looks pretty nice. And now I'm going to put that in a frame and probably white because I like white frames. I'm so happy how it came out. I love that. Hey, let's it. see where we're at. I know Ruth painted with us, so I'm going to unmute Ruth and see. How you doing? Oh, you're doing colored pencils. Well, show us what you're doing anyway. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh. You did that with pencils? That yes. is fantastic. Yes. <laughs> I just I was I tried I tried doing a tree and it was just I don't do good trees. So I said, okay, I'm just observing today. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> if you did the tree with those pencils, it would have come out great. The what? what? I think if, if Ruth did the tree with the pencils shaded the way she did those birds, yeah. it would look fantastic. Yeah, she could do it with colored pencils easy. Yeah. And if she does it on that, the paper that she's using, she can poke little holes in that mm -hmm. and put the brads through that. And then she could frame that um, mm -hmm. and it would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I'm taking my liner brush and some of the plantation pine and I'm adding those center vein lines. I forgot to do that, so I'm doing that now. Oh, okay, well then I can do this. What are you doing? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> You're funny. I'm giggling. I'm happy. Look what I could do. <laughs> I think it's cool. Everyone's having a good day. The sun is shining in most places. How about Kathy? What's the word for today, Kathy? Oh, What's yes, Kathy. Today? So, um, so did, are, did you paint anything or make anything today, Kathy? I am painting, doing a painting. Let me see. I can show the, get my picture. Uh, we have a young girl among many that's been selected from the local high school to go sing at Carnegie Hall. Oh, wow. And there, she's in high, she's not a senior. It's, uh, and it, she's been selected. And I've got it almost all done. Oh, here it is. I'm going to donate to her benefit this coming uh, Saturday. This is the picture, and oh. this is my can. This is the picture. Oh, sweet. And How cute. Then, and then this is what I've got done so far. Oh, adorable. That's cute. <laughs> is that to help raise funds for her to get to Carnegie Hall? Yes. Awesome. They're having a spaghetti dinner as a silent auction. And oh, that's whatever. wonderful. How wonderful. May I ask a question? Of course. Oh, okay. I, I came in, uh, I had trouble getting on this uh, there with my computer in the beginning, but what did you use to blot the alcohol? Just a paper towel to blot alcohol? Yeah, I just used the paper towel to blot the alcohol. I let it, let it sit for a while. And depending on how long you let it set, and this is where it, it, you can see on... Um, no, oh, that's not the one. If you can see, this leaves, this has whiter, more um, white, solid white splotches. Okay. And, yeah. the pink, and the pink around it is removed. Whereas this one, uh, you can see the um, more is removed from inside. It has more texture from the um, paper towel. Yes. And I believe it's because I allowed this to sit longer. Oh, okay. I spattered it with alcohol after I painted it, but I let it sit longer before I started wiping it off. You know, oh. pat, not, not wiping, but patting it off. And that's why I think this became, this came solid. So, yep. That's what it was. And was that like a two-sided tape you put on the pictures there inside the frames? This yeah. um, I put glossy, accent. glossy okay. accents or um, deco art liquid glass. Oh, okay. And that keeps the picture inside the metal. Okay. And then I put the, the these particular... Um, charms come with this bubble oh that's what i was wondering yes you can see that bubble uh -huh. bubble so you put the glossy accents or the liquid glass on here put the picture in it and then you put this bubble in there and press down oh okay so yeah i have it comes in uh sets of four there's actually four in there. And it comes with the bubbles. Oh, good. Thank you. You're welcome. So I was thinking about painting a sign here. I should paint a sign here and say Harrison family, huh? Oh, that'd be nice. Yes, that would. I thought you were going to say gone fishing, but you wouldn't have said that. No, because I don't like fish. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can invoke my Harrison, uh, my calligraphy. Oh, yes. In that. Yes. But see, yes. she's not a Harrison. Oh, well, then that, that won't work. No. No, but it's okay. It's all good. So we are actually... I could say my family tree or our family tree. I could do that. Yes, I could do that. And I think I want something fancy. Yes. So I don't know. Our tree of life, because kind of duh, it's our family tree. It's got pictures of you guys on it. Right. <laughs> Sorry. I have frames. I wonder if, this doesn't match though. 
This is too brassy, I think. Whereas that's more pewter. These are more brassy, but look at, uh, I can get a white one too. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Yeah, if it matched the, the same metal as little So, cameos. what do we do when the metal doesn't match? You use your metal thing. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Metal accents. No? Um, luster? Yeah. Metallic luster. Glossy luster. <laughs> it, depends, it, looks it depends on what the brand is, but it's metallic luster. Only yeah, you with, can the, rub with it. the silver, with your feet. I, it's a... Uh, Not the deco art metallic luster, it's something else. Yeah, we not which that which shall not be named. Right. Mm -hmm. Now this has little pearls on it, so I want to stay away from the little pearls. But and then I'll put I'll make a template for that. But I wonder if this will work on here. Oh she uses it. Because I don't want to get all gooey again. So if you don't like the color that something is, you can use paint adhesion medium and paint, or you can use some of this metallic luster and see how it starts changing the... Yeah. Now it's silver. Still Isn't that cool? Now, is it going to dry like paint, though? It, or is it just... It's already... It's already... I can, this is wet, but over yeah. here, if I do this. It's still, yeah, okay, so it does, good answer. It's, it's uh, not like it's some kind of, because it looks like cream, like it's just going to dry creamy or be like, I don't know, clay or something, but it just dries like paint. Fun times. I wonder how to wipe off the metal from the, from the pearls. <laughs> Yep, that's it. So there you go. Answer to my. Yeah. I will then do a template of the inside and put our family tree. And that will be the end of that. So yeah, see, nothing has to be the way it is. You can change it all. I'm going to be the Tin Man again. So, anyways, I think, yeah, I think that will look good on there. And maybe I should have painted it black out first and then put the silver on top and then it would look like these guys. Yeah, you could probably still put a little black accent on there. So, okay. maybe that's what I'll end up doing. Mm -hmm. And then paint this out and put my, our family tree on there rather than putting a piece of paper. So that'll be good, but mm -hmm. let's go over to you and um, let's see, spotlight video, say, say goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye, Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> Can't resist that every time. Anyway, thank you so much for having me, Cindy, and um, for including me with you on your family tree and tree of life episode here on paint with heart it was really a pleasure and i look forward to seeing you next week i can't wait yeah thank you thank you and thank you everyone who is here today visiting with us and painting with us and for those of you on the replay and we'll see you soon until next time remember to always paint with heart <laughs> thank you everyone